Hello, everybody. On behalf of Nationwide and their partnership with the NFL, I'm Charles Tillman, winner of the 2013 Walter Payton Man of the Year Award presented by Nationwide. Today, I'm honored to be joined by San Francisco 49ers nominee for the 2020 Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, Eric Armstead. How you doing, boss? What's going on, man? Good. How you doing? 2020 was kind of a rough year, you know, with uh, COVID and everything. How were you able to to handle that dealing with the season? 2020 uh, was definitely a tough year. A lot of adversity for uh, our team. Um, you know, personally, I got COVID um, during the year. So that was uh, something to deal with, you know, a scary, um, scary thing when your health is in jeopardy and it's been mm-hmm. affecting everyone differently. You don't really know. My family was scared. But um, beyond that, as far as our team, um, you know, football, it just it, it didn't have didn't didn't really feel the same without the fans in, in the stadium. And, um, you know, it's just one of those, you know, difficult, weird years, um, super long year. Um, yeah. Tough to, you know, I'm glad to glad to get through it um, healthy and uh, definitely looking forward to next year. But there was a lot of adversity both personally and, and team wise that went on in, in 2020. Um, but I think it brought us closer and showed uh, the true, true testament of, of who we are. So now I want to pivot around why we're here today. So um, I won the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award back in 2013. And I know my views and I have my beliefs and being from Chicago and kind of knowing what Walter meant to the city. What does it mean to you to be nominated uh, for the 2020 Walter Payton Man of the Year Award presented by Nationwide? It's, it's a huge honor um, to be a part, to, to be a nominee and be a part of this group of 32 men. It's a huge honor that I take a lot of pride in. And I take a lot of pride in it, especially because of the climate and the time we're in uh, today. Um, I'm really proud of the other, the other nominees as well and our society um, as a whole in a, in a lot of ways. I'm really proud to see how people stepped up throughout uh, this year with um, – in the, in the face of adversity with COVID and the, also the fight for social uh, justice, um, I've seen a plethora of people step up and take that responsibility uh, upon themselves. And so I'm excited uh, and honored and, and humbled to be a part of that group that's being recognized. So now I want, I want to talk about education. You know, when I first had my foundation, I, I was in the education but my daughter got sick. Then we switched over and did. Uh, uh, we switched over to the medical side. Now you're you're extremely passionate about education, but not just education. Fair education. Why are you so passionate about that? Yeah. So, you know, when I sat down and thought about how I can have the biggest impact uh, mm-hmm. on my community, education was glaring. I think that education solves um, a lot of social injustice in in our going on in our country. Um, I didn't think that it was fair that based on where you live, your zip code, determine the type of education that you will receive. Uh, and I truly believe in, in nurture over nature. I don't think, I think we're, we all um, have the skill set and have the ability to be successful and become um, prominent people in society. But I think how you, how you nurture a community, how you nurture your young people um, is the, the determining factor to that. And so I really wanted to do a lot of work in that field, um, work with students from disadvantaged backgrounds, low income Mm -hmm. areas um, that don't have opportunity access, don't have a lot of hope, don't have a lot of um, examples of what they could be in life and um, provide a a better education, more educational opportunities and more more examples of uh, the type of future they could have and pique their interest um, in in other things. So Nationwide is sponsoring the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, and they put forth $250,000. Now, if you are the recipient of this award, how would that money impact your community work? The, directly. So um, I already have my eye on a building uh, for a community mm-hmm. center um, here in Sacramento. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect location that is surrounded by three housing project communities. And this is the, the community that I work with often um, doing programs um, from the elementary school there. And um, so it would directly impact 
my community because I would use that money to um, acquire the building and um, also renovate um, the building. So that's a, that's in the process now, and I'm going to do it regardless of if I win or not. But that money will go directly towards um, that community center, which is going to have a great impact um, on those three housing projects. Okay. Okay. So that's 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 cool. That's real cool. So. I think we all know you're you're a athletic freakazoid, right? You're you're amazing, truly gifted athletic guy. Um, your stats are, are are crazy, but I want to read some some off the field stats, right? So, uh, fifty thousand of personal donation, um, three hundred fifty Chromebooks delivered with internet service. Um, you visited twenty virtual classroom, impacting over four hundred kids, um, and you donated two hundred. Uh, meals to frontline workers during COVID. So talk to me, why, why is that important to you? Why was it important for you to, to deliver those meals to the, to the frontline workers? Yeah, so um, it's important to me because my wife is a frontline worker. My wife okay. um, is, is a doctor. And so um, being uh, living with her and, you know, seeing her on our 24 hour shifts and, Mm -hmm. um, all the things that she had to go through and, you know, being scared of, of her, of being scared for her and, and scared for, for our family um, and wanting to give back to that community of people who are putting it on the line to um, make sure that, you know, we're safe and that we're taken care of and society can continue to uh, move forward. Um, you know, supporting those people is, is a no brainer. Well, Eric, on behalf of Nationwide, let me be one of many people to say, I hope you win this thing. You're doing some amazing work out there in the community. Not only you, but your wife. I think this might be a first for me to say, uh, I salute you and your wife for what she's doing being a frontline worker. So kudos to her. Kudos to you. Hey, man, I'm praying your wife has a safe, healthy delivery with your firstborn. And uh, good luck to you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It was great meeting you. Great, uh, great talking to you. I, and also, too, I, I watched when Coach Sala shows us a lot of your, a lot of your clips and working on, working on creating turnovers. So, uh, hey man, that's 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 what it's that's what it's all about. Oh, one last thing: if people want to uh, get in touch with you, contact you as far as trying to donate or get to be a part of your calls, how could they do that? Is there yeah. a website or anything? Yeah, they like can that? go to Eric, EricArmstead.com and uh, my nonprofit Armstead Academic Project is uh, on, on the website and uh, they can get in contact with me that way or also through my socials, um, Sack Nina uh, on Instagram and uh, Eric Armstead on Twitter. But uh, they can learn more information about the nonprofit and everything um, that we're trying to accomplish on my website, ericarmstead.com. All right, cool. Like I said, on behalf of Nationwide, I thank you. I can't thank you enough, man. Good luck to you. Appreciate you.